Understanding Blood Relative, a guide to family connections in English. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore an interesting phrase in English, blood relative. This term is often used to describe family relationships, and understanding its meaning is key for anyone learning English. Let's dive into what makes someone a blood relative and how this concept is viewed in different cultures. Blood relative refers to a person who is related to you by birth, sharing a biological connection. This typically includes parents, siblings, and extended family members like grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins. The term emphasizes the genetic link that these family members share with you. To clarify, let's look at some examples. Your mother and father are your primary blood relatives. Siblings, brothers and sisters, are also your blood relatives. Extended family, like your grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins, fall into this category as well. It's important to distinguish blood relatives from relationships formed through marriage or adoption. For instance, your step-siblings, children of a step-parent, are not blood relatives. Similarly, an adopted sibling doesn't share a blood connection, but is still legally and emotionally part of your family. In-laws, related by marriage, are not blood relatives. Different cultures place varying levels of importance on blood relationships. In some societies, blood relatives are considered the core of a family unit, while in others, the emphasis is more on the chosen or legal family connections. Understanding the term, blood relative, can give you deeper insights into family dynamics and cultural values. We hope this video has been helpful in clarifying this concept for you. Keep exploring English, and you'll find many more interesting phrases and expressions that reflect cultural values and social norms. See you in the next video.